Hello, today on my quick tip for Pro Tools is I just want to talk about how to move around a session quickly with regards to automation and editing and in particular looking at the automation lanes or the values on Pro Tools. So you all, if you use Pro Tools quite a lot, you're probably aware of Waveform Display View which normally just obviously looks at that. If you press Option and Minus on the keyboard, that will do the Track Toggle View. Um, so that lets you see between the volume automation and the waveform view across every single track. So option minus is really useful. Say I didn't want to see all the tracks and so I've just disabled groups with shift command G. And say I wanted to go on to the ride and I want to have a look at that and to see if I might want to like draw in some automation or I might want to change some automation on the track. And what I could do is press down, hold down control, command, and then click on the value I want to automate. And that will automatically bring up the automation lane or the volume or the, the data lane for that track on that particular channel. Um, so as you can see, I've got the, the automation on the track. I'll just bring it up for you. Is that just before the track happens, it's down, it comes up for where the right section's on. So it's got sort of that. Looks like really, really boring. So, Control Command will let you do that. If I press, hold down Control Command and click on Pan, that will go to that. And it's a similar thing. I've got the, I got parallel compression going to my drums as well. If I hit Control Command, that'll go to that. So it's a quick way of showing around the values. The other thing you can do is, if you notice, I got the blue square. At the playlist which means that there's other takes on this track and if I just click on that and it actually open up expand the playlist view out and it'll just show me what's being used at that moment show me the other tracks that have been used this is useful for rather than having to go through and go okay I want to go to playlists and I want to go back now to volume so it's just this is just a much much quicker way of doing things um, the other thing that you can also do for this as well is I say that like, I wanted to automate some tracks, so I'm just going to go, let's go input gain. If say I want to automate the input gain on the ride channel, I can control command click up and it'll bring that in. And then if I wanted to see if I press F10, I can draw some stuff in. I'm on the line, let's change that to squiggly freehand. Way! Woo! Cool. And then that obviously, so then the ride input gain is going right up, it's just over here. And then, so if I then just like cycle through it, just notice the dots moving around. And then I come to the end and it goes back up. So just gonna do that, I don't need any of that. The final thing that you also need to look at as well is if I control command click on the plugins, it actually, it, it doesn't put them in bypass, but it disables a plugin. Um, so if I just shift right click, I go to the track that says Andy. If we notice now that the delay compensation is zero, if I bring that, if I control command click in again, you actually notice that the compensation, the amount for delay actually changes. So what that does is it stores settings for the plugin, um, but what it can do is it can actually disable the plugin, take it completely out of the recording chain or the mixing chain. And um, that can be really handy for recording vocals or overdubbing something if you're halfway through a mix. Um, it can just mean that you can just kind of click them off and then if I press that record the compensation bit at the bottom will also go down and that goes off as well bring them back in um, 193 isn't actually too bad for recording um, if your sample rate's low um, but that's another option so just in summary um, with regards to volumes if you control command click, it'll go through. If you click on sends like this, it'll actually disable them. And if you hit control command click on the down arrow of that, it'll come to playlists. And option or alt and minus in Mac will actually let you toggle between volume playlist lane or volume lane and your waveform view. Any questions or requests, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Any feedback's always great. And hopefully see you in the next quick tip. Cheers.